What's up, guys? Level five, coming high. All right. This time, we're getting ready to start farmers in hunter education, uh, farmer safety. And the main parts of a firearm, first off, is action, stock, and barrel. The action is considered the heart of the gun. All right. It's got a trigger, it's got a trigger guard. Now you think about a movie director. What's the last thing he said? Action. That's right. Okay. But when he says action, y'all, what, what tends to happen? Somebody's karate chopping or high fiving or doing something wild and cool. All right. Real talk in a firearm, that's where everything happens. Okay. That's where the safety is and that's where the trigger is. Okay. So the action. The stop, this right here, this right here. Okay. These are the stop. This is the barrel. All right. You know, Amber Johnson said a lot between now and Thanksgiving. And to keep your teeth on the stop. And keep your teeth on the side. Basically, um, you know, Jesse, keep your cheek on the stock. And the reason why is because when you keep your cheek on the stock, y'all, what's happening? Where's your eyes looking straight now? The barrel. Does that make sense? I'll have some kids try to shoot like this, like a bazooka. I'll have a couple try to shoot like this. Now, look how comfortable I look. Do I look comfortable? Uh-uh. Okay, don't try it, okay? You're not going to like what's going to happen. Your armpit's going to have a big, cool blue bruise. You'll be sad. All right? And, of course, the barrel, y'all. The barrel is where the... Cartilage or shot shell travels through. Does that make sense? And so, next. Right here, parts of a bolt action rifle. In our class, y'all, between now and Christmas, we're going to be shooting a 17 and a 22 rifle. Both of these are bolt action, the other one's semi automatic. Cool thing about a 22 or 17, very little kick. Makes a loud noise, but it can travel up to a mile. And if you even square it, so if you even just right, it can do some real damage, okay? These are preferred guns, uh, squirrel, beaver, other potential rodents, woo, all right? Uh, for real talk, very nice gun to handle. You'll notice very similar parts, trigger, trigger guard. This is called the butt. This is the stock. This is the barrel. You'll know what this part's called? Starts with M. Buzz. This is what? Not watching the, watching the muzzle too close, right? All right? What's up, security lady? That's watching the muzzle too close, all right? You don't do nothing else. You find out where we go. We start shooting. You make sure that you're always watching that. Does that make sense? That's the most important thing. If you control the muzzle, you control up to 95 to 90 percent of the time. The most important thing in the next three to four weeks, y'all, be safe. Okay. Let's say Andy gains a lot of confidence with the firearms. So she shoots 22s like this, or like this. Or, you know, I don't want to see all that. I want her to be what? Safe. Right? Dual calm and collected. All right. A couple other parts you'll see this is the bolt safety. The safety is a mechanical device that blocks the trigger and hammer to prevent accidental firing. Jesse, I got a real question for you, real quick. How many men do you have that approach? None. Some people say Jesus, and that would be right. But other Jesus, y'all, men tend to make mistakes. You believe that, Andy? Okay. And guess who makes safeties? That's right. Okay. We didn't have safeties too. Yes, I know that. Okay. All right. However, people are human. Does that make sense? And while safeties are 99.9% safe, you can't put your total faith and trust in it. Does that make sense? Everybody cool with that? If you see it on the red side or the U for the unsafe, whatever it is, you've got to respect that safety. Always watch your safety. Go down to the next one. Parts of a pump action shotgun. This is the one we're going to be shooting next week. We're going to start you off with a 20 gauge. This is a youth game model. And what we're going to be shooting on is play targets. You're going to be obsolete. And what that means is like the first day, you're going to be doing this. You're in the same spot every time. But obsolete, what it means is that as we get a little more confidence, you're going to go here. You're going to go there. So you mix them up for a little bit. Just think about it. Shooting ducks or dove or whatever it is, what kind of hunting you're doing, do uh, the Ducks and ducks go, oh, I'm going to fly right here every single time. No, they don't, okay? They're what? They're doing that five Bs of dodgeball. Dodging, dipping, diving, ducking, and not, right? And so you've got to be kind of prepared for that, too. Similar, similar parts. You'll notice the muzzle. I said muzzle, barrel, action. All right, here, safety's on top. Stop, four stop, but what's a pump action? What's it doing? Slides, right? Some people call it slides. What's that bolt action? What's it do? 
like a doorbell. In most hotels now, what do they have? They have keyless entry, right? Where you just put your card in there. But back in the day, they had books. They had to do this and then you lock it, you know, because you know, hotels are, are really cool. They're also a little weird, right? And so and that's how this works. You open up the chamber, slide your cartilage in, lock up, lock down, you're ready to shoot. Everybody cool with that? All right. Uh, scroll down to the bottom of 14. Handgun. I teach a handgun carry permit class. You got to be 21 or older to teach that. And I primarily teach it. Y'all love this. At Beaver Baptist, I got some church ladies. Diana, all right. Uh, got them all certified and other people from time to time. Um, probably will not shoot handguns in class. Should be determined, but rifles, shotguns, and other loaders are definitely a Part of the nation. Y'all cool with that? Looking right here, real quick. Uh, you can see the parts are very similar trigger, trigger guard, muzzle barrel. It's just much more black. Smaller, okay? Now, a lot of people, they see movies and stuff, they want to shoot like this. What do you think is going to happen if you really shoot like that? How accurate do you think that would be? Not at all. Not at all. Okay? And so, you shoot a handgun, it's a lot of homework with a lot of things. Same thing with shotguns and rifles, too. Okay? If your technique is right, just like with archery, you're going to be really good really quick. Everybody cool with that? All right. Almost done for today's lecture of champions. Uh, and additions, last thing I want to talk to you about. Cartilage is both used in rifles and handguns. Shot shells primarily used in shotguns. Does everybody cool with that? And that's kind of the uh, 411 on that. Shot shells, okay, what happens inside of there is a wide at the body and a primer. Think about the middle. What is a prime? Anybody? Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. When I pull the trigger, the trigger in theory hits the primer, and the primer says, oh, it's time to go. It's time to go. Right? And so it takes off. Okay. And a shot shell, it's got 300 to 500 BBs inside of it. Okay. And they're all held together by a Y. And I can watch where you're shooting. If you're high, low, to the left, or right, I base it a lot of it because I'll be right behind you or to the side of you based on where your wide goes. Does that make sense? Or where it's flying at. And I can watch that and I can watch if you're behind. Okay. When the wide is released, those BBs stay tight at first, but naturally, two ends. Isaac gravity, all that cool stuff. And they begin to do what? Spread, disperse, and eventually do what? Fall to the ground. Whereas a cartilage has the primer and, and things of this nature, but it also spins. Does that make sense? And bullet jaw are going, particularly like in a high-powered rifle, they're going up to 2,000 miles per hour. Okay? Well, what happens? I'm a bullet. Okay. I hit right here. If I just stop, I continue to what? No, oh, pierce through. Does that make sense? The target, it means my deer is Okay? The bullet doesn't flex. Expands, expands, blows up, okay. Velocity bullets, for example, what I use with deers, deer hunting, okay. Not only do they hit and spin, but what do you think they're I'm trying to get to you? What do they do? They expand and they get it and blow it. And I don't want to spend a lot of time what? Trapping and chasing. I'm trying to put a quick, clean kill, all right. Even in non deer rifles like a 9 or 357. It's the same kind of velocity and power that's in those, okay? And that's what a lot of people, you know, you may see the Memphis News, for example, you know, Grandma 92 watching Wheel of Fortune, all right, dies while watching it, okay? Because the bullet does what? Travels through the house, okay? That's real talk. That's how powerful it is, okay? Next car, those cars are going 200 miles per hour. They're getting it. A bullet travels 10 times that speed. That's for real, real good, okay? Any questions on that? Follow me on Twitter at JJFFA. Woo. All right. Guys, that was the last year's